Till now, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has missed three different summons from the Enforcement Directorate in connection with Liquor Gate Pro. Arvind Kejriwal today came out to allege that it was a conspiracy being hatched by the BJP to frame and arrest him over fake charges. Aap Kinvina has further questioned the timing of these summons, insinuating that it was being timed to stop him from campaigning for the upcoming Lok Sabha polls. Listen in. अगर भ्रष्टाचार वाकई हुआ है तो इतने करोड़ों रुपए गए कहाँ ऐसे फर्जी केस में आम आदमी पार्टी के कई नेताओं को इन्होंने अभी तक जेल में रखा हुआ है किसी के भी खिलाफ कोई सबूत नहीं है कुछ साबित नहीं हो रहा अब बीजेपी मुझे गिरफ्तार करना चाहती है मेरी सबसे बड़ी संपत्ति मेरी सबसे बड़ी ताकत मेरी ईमानदारी है झूठे आरोप लगा के फर्जी सम्मन भेज के ये मुझे बदनाम करना चाहते हैं मेरी ईमानदारी पे चोट करना चाहते हैं इस जांच को चलते दो साल हो गए अभी ठीक लोकसभा चुनाव के पहले मुझे क्यों बुलाया जा रहा है पहले क्यों नहीं बुलाया सीबीआई ने मेरे को आठ महीने पहले बुलाया था मैं सीबीआई में गया था उनके सारे जवाब भी दिए थे लेकिन अब ये लोग ठीक लोकसभा चुनाव के दो महीने पहले मुझे बुला रहे हैं तो बीजेपी का मकसद कोई पूछताछ करना थोड़ी है इनका मकसद है पूछताछ के बहाने केजरीवाल को बुला लो और उसे गिरफ्तार कर लो ताकि मैं लोकसभा चुनाव में प्रचार ना कर पाऊं आज मनीष सिसोदिया संजय सिंह और विजय नायर इसलिए जेल में नहीं है कि उन्होंने भ्रष्टाचार किया है वो इसलिए जेल में है क्योंकि उन्होंने बीजेपी में शामिल होने से इनकार कर दिया है All right, let's uh, go right across to our guests joining us. Of course, Tuin Sira and uh, Syed Abbas continue to be with us. Joining us is Kailash Adhikari, MD of Governance now, Suman Siraman, political analyst, Ashutosh Mishra, senior journalist is with us. I'm going to come to you first, Ashutosh Mishra. Today, we have a situation where our leaders were seen from late last night saying that Arvind Kejriwal is going to be arrested today, that it's any moment now that he's going to be picked up, so on and so forth. The day has almost passed. We have, I think, about two hours, a little less than two hours left. Uh, perhaps uh, were those leaders trying to jump the gun? Were they trying to, you know, publicize the maybe Kejriwal campaign? What's going on? Because this is just after Mr. Kejriwal has skipped summons for the third time. How do we understand this, Mr. Ashutosh Mishra? So, uh, what you are saying about that was their uh, apprehension. They were expressing their apprehension because uh, you see, this ED cases coming up suddenly uh, is not nothing new. If you remember, even in the Chhattisgarh uh, before the Chhattisgarh election, ED carried out raids. And there was all this hula balu about uh, Mahadev app, and then the driver there retracted his statement. And uh, now that BJP has won the election, uh, we can now all hope that uh, something will happen in some distant future, or maybe when uh, there are elections next time. Around. No, there is this uh, misuse of ED which bothers uh, everyone. Before every election, in some cases, raids. And then, if you see the answer given in Lok Sabha by this government, the rate is just 0.5 percent. So that that is something uh, which is absurd. And and you, I can see your answer. Where, why is the uh, Imamdar afraid? Uh, I was just reading you on your uh, screen. Now this is something which actually uh, BJP should answer. But they presume that anyone who is trying... That, that's actually BJP's uh, question that we are quoting, but okay. Since you're questioning the BJP, to in Sina. This is something the BJP should answer. Uh, there's a charge of vendetta, misuse of agencies that is being made. And in fact, not just the Ahmadi party, other opposition parties are also stating the same in support of Mr. Kejriwal today. Tuhin. Madhav, Madhav, you know... Aam Aadmi Party is the biggest political scam in this country. But look at the similarities between what is happening in Jharkhand and what is happening in, in Delhi. In Jharkhand, Hemant Soren has refused to submit himself or go, go uh, to the ED despite the seventh summon. Here, Arvind Kejriwal has refused to go to the ED despite the fourth summon. They are virtually praying that they get arrested so that they can play the victim. Fact is, the first summon was served to him. In the first week of November, was the Lok Sabha election around the corner? And in the middle of all this, he finds time to go for 11 days of meditation. So that is point number one. He's a bluff master. Point number two, you know, if you look at the confession of uh, the accused number one in the liquor case, Dinesh Gupta, he has very categorically mentioned that a check worth 32 lakhs was given to Kejriwal as party donation based on the instruction of Sanjay Singh, which... You know, and all meetings of the of the liquor traders used to happen in the house of Arvind Kejriwal. 
So why should Arvind Kejriwal not be questioned? That is point number one. Now when it comes to Manish Sisodia, he has been in jail for 10 years and look at some of the statements which, uh, which have come from the Honorable Supreme Court and the PMLA court that mm. he is the chief architect of the scam that uh, the money trail stands exposed. We know for a fact that Manish Sisodia was the right hand man of Arvind Kejriwal. 90% of the portfolios were distributed between Manish uh, Sisodia and Satyendra Jain, which effectively means that, you know, uh, uh, Arvind Kejriwal did not want to come in the front. So there is every reason for the, the ED to question him. And as a law-abiding citizen, instead of re resorting to fake rhetoric, he should submit himself before the investigating All right. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me bring in that question to and address it with Suman C. Raman. Coming to all our panelists because we're very limited time. Suman C. Raman, uh, you heard, of course, the comment that uh, Tuhin just made on the Vipassana session. But I just want to ask you this because while Mr. K. Jival has said that the, uh, he's not appearing before the agencies, he cited the Republic Day preparations, he cited Raj Sabha polls, he has cited the lack of transparency and responsiveness of, our, of the agency for not appearing before them. And also, as per sources, in the midst of all this, he is also headed to Gujarat between the 6th to 8th of January for the up sub upcoming Lok Sabha polls. The questions that many would ask, and the BJP particularly is asking, is if he has time for all of this, then why doesn't he comply with the agency? Look, uh, Madhav, I think uh, before I get to that, just one point. You said today the day is almost over and he has not yet been arrested. Our leaders said he would be arrested. I recall a very similar debate that uh, I'm not sure if we did, but clearly on this channel, about the same thing which our leader said Manish Sisodia is going to be arrested. And on that particular day, he was not arrested. He was arrested four or five days later. So we were again asking the same question. The day is almost over. Manish Sisodia has not been arrested. Four or five days later, he was arrested. Now, let, let us look at what is happening in this case. I think Mr. Tuhin Sinha spoke about the Supreme Court having said money trail has been established. What was quoted by the Honorable Supreme Court as a money trail is the revenue which accrued to these companies. It is not a money trail in the sense that it is a corrupt uh, proceeds of crime. So the proceeds of crime in terms of money being found in Mani Sisodia's house or in his lockers or in Arvind Kejriwal's place. So far, we have not been given an iota of information about any of that, right? So, uh, and the same Supreme Court, what they said two weeks before this particular uh, uh, statement is also revealing. They said there appears to be no case at all. So, that's a different issue. My, my basic point is this. Are we reaching a stage where the opposition leaders are getting so fed up of the harassment by the agencies that they are willing to take a chance. In this case, my gut feel is if this was three or four years ago, I think Mr. Kejriwal would surely have submitted himself before the ED. But you got Satyendra Jain who is in jail. You got Manish Sisodia who is in jail. You got Sanjay Singh who is in jail. I mean, Mr. Satyendra Jain may have got bail on medical grounds. But the point is, once this is becoming a pattern okay. and none of them seem to have a hope of getting bail, hmm. I think Mr. Kejriwal feels, let us, let us, uh, let, let us. Okay, let it's better to brazen it out. Kailash Adhikari, uh, there are leaders who now feel it's better to brazen it out because perhaps they've lost faith in the system. And I will ask you one question that I think Suman Siraman has asked and also Mr. Kejriwal today while addressing uh, the media has particularly stated, he says that where is the money? It's not like cash has been recovered anywhere. If there was so much of corruption, then cash should have also been recovered is what Mr. Kejriwal is saying. How do you explain that, Kailash? Firstly, Madhav, investigation takes time. And we have seen in larger uh, cases that uh, our competent uh, agencies, naturally they have uh, pointed again, uh, come out in the open and says that such investigation takes time. And in the due course of investigation, summons are issued to the people uh, whom they feel that they are uh, they could be accused or they are accused. Now, if Mr. Arvind Kejriwal feels and he pitches that he's the real Ahmadmi or he's the Ahmadmi and he's the law abiding citizens, then why is he avoiding summons? If he has nothing to hide, then why is he avoiding summons? When he said on, on national television in front of like a broadcast that, you know, months ago when CBI had summoned me, I had gone and I had given the truth, then what is uh, stopping him from giving the truth in Liquor Gate? Because okay. he knows that the truth will actually land him behind the bars. 
First it was liquor gate, now it is dawai gate. Fighter the three people are tested in 240 minutes and that was okay. the test. After liquor gate, now dawai gate. Seconds. Yeah, yeah, okay. After liquor gate, now dawai gate. Syed Abbas, I want you to come in because even this Dawai Gate allegation, of course, the, the, the agency will look into it, but the charges appear to be very serious. In one case, we are told that, and the BJP is alleging, 533 patients being seen in one Mohla clinic, which, which functions for only four hours between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m., which means that each patient was consulted for 30 seconds or so. Is that humanly possible? Syed Abbas, is a question that many are asking, of, apart from fake tests, non-existent numbers, doctors marking attendance through pre-recorded videos, non-medical staff prescribing drugs and uh, tests to patients, several such complaints that this alleged scam contains, which is why a CBI inquiry is being recommended. Syed Abbas. Madhav Sahib, when uh, VK Saxena, the Lieutenant Governor of uh, Delhi, also mentioned the same, the fact of the matter, we need to understand what is Saurabh Bhardwaj uh, uh, respond to it. He has reaffirmed his statement that the health secretary needs to resign. Not just that, also as a matter of fact, the union government, in fact, appoints several of the medical health officials of the Mohalla clinic. Not just that, we need to understand that within the powers of the Delhi government, they have already de-empaneled those doctors found with irregularities. Basically, it's come to this, Madhav Saab, since the Amadmi party has been winning the Delhi elections time and again, consecutively for the third time, the BJP is shaken off their hook. Lashkar bhi tumara, Sardar bhi tumara, tum jhoot ko, sach likh do, akbar bhi tumara. The CBI, EDIT has become nothing but the caged parrots. They want to leave it against the opposition parties. But nothing happens to BJP, which is a washing machine party. Ask who? Himanta Biska Sarma. Ask who? Suvendu Adhikari. And many others. Why do you want to target Arvind K. Jival, Mani Sisodia, Sanjay Singh? He was the other leaders of the Amami party. Why in the last seven years, the last ten years, we hear nothing of the BJP leaders? Are they saints? Kailash Adhikari, Kailash Adhikari, quick response. Machine. Almost out of time. Quick response, Kailash. Madhav, it is very simple. That private parties were given payments for test being happening to people who are not actually there. And how can you uh, say that few doctors uh, were, were taken out or the health secretary must resign? These are Delhi government uh, cases. These are Mohalla clinic cases, which the Delhi government has put into place. Which all the right. Ahmadmi party government has put, uh, put into all place. All right, all right. Completely out of time on this debate. Twin Sina, Kailash Adhikari, Saeed Asadavaz, Dr. Suman Sina, and Ashutosh Mishra. Let us thank all of you for joining us this evening. We'll have to see, of course, which way this particular probe heads and whether this will spell more trouble for the Aam Aadmi Party or whether they will be exonerated as they are currently claiming. Thanks so much for joining us this evening.